Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So a little while ago, I made a video showing off a working analog clock that I built in Terraria. And in the comments of that video, I saw some people asking for a tutorial on how to build the clock. So that is what I'm going to do in this video. But along with the analog clock tutorial, I'll also be showing you a digital clock that I designed, as well as going through how to build that as well. And I'll also provide a world download if you're interested in seeing the builds for yourself. So starting off with the digital clock, let's go over how I built the interface. The first thing that you're going to want to do is lay out a background for your clock. I use diamond gem spark blocks painted with shadow paint, but you can honestly use anything. Next, you're going to want to build two eights with torches like this. Then place two torches here before placing one final eight. Then, the last thing that you want to do with the torches is place a 1 on the end like this. And now, you have the display completed. The next step is hooking up some wires to these torches. You're going to want to place the wires in a pattern like this, making sure that none of the wires overlap a torch that they aren't supposed to. Once you have the wire pattern laid out, you're going to want to group the wires together for easier management. Split the digits into two groups of wires, the top half and the bottom half grouping the middle wire with the top. When you get to the final digit, add the green wire from the one to the bottom group of wires. Then, you want to place some temporary switches to turn all of the torches off. Now that we have the display done, it's time to build the counters. Now, the counters are what make the clock work, and they look intimidating at first, but really it's just the same thing repeated over and over again. To start, place an AND gate with a logic lamp on top, then place an OR gate next to it, again with a logic lamp, and finally place one more AND gate with yet another logic lamp. Now place two faulty lamps here and here, and finally place green wire like so. Now we've completed the first cell of the counter. The next step is to repeat this. The first counter we want to be 10 segments long, so you want to repeat what we just built 9 more times. Once we're here we want to switch these two lamps from off to on, and now it's time to add the wiring. You want to alternate between green and blue like so. Once you have all 10 segments built, take a final green wire from the end and wrap it around to the beginning. This allows the timer to loop. Now come down from the first OR gate in the timer and place another OR gate 11 blocks down. Then, 5 blocks below that, place yet another OR gate. Now place two logic lamps on top of each of these gates and then repeat this pattern with 5 block spaces in between until you have 10 sets of these gates. Now, you want to take the wires from the first digit and bring them along here like so. After this, we want to program the numbers. See, each one of these logic gates represents a number in order. For example, the zero here on the first digit needs every wire on except the green. So, for the first group of wires, I want to take the red, blue, and yellow, and then connect it to the OR gate here. For the bottom, I again want to take red, blue, and yellow, so I will connect those here. Moving on to the one, I only need the red and yellow, so I will connect these two wires to the respective OR gates. Now, you just want to repeat this process for all 10 digits. Make sure that they stay in order. Once this is done, take the OR gates on the counter and connect it down like so, alternating between red and yellow. Once you've finished, make sure to place junction boxes where the wires cross. And now, the last thing you need to do for this digit is replace these two logic lamps here that are off with logic lamps that are on, and you'll see that the display now displays a zero. Moving on to the next digit, we want to build another identical counter setup, but this time, instead of being 10 segments long, it only needs to be 6 segments, like this. Once this is done, we want to connect it up to the second digit, making sure it counts from 0 to 5. And finally, we want to build a third counter, this time 12 segments long, and we want to connect that to the final two groups of wire. This time we want it counting starting at 12 and then working its way back up to 11 like this. The only difference here is that when we want the clock to read 12 for example, we set the 2 up like we normally would have, and then we just add this green wire here to turn on the 1 that we hooked up at the start. Now that this is complete, the clock is done, so it's time to add an on-off timer and reset switch. Starting with the 12 long counter, take a red wire and bring it from the end here back to the last segment of the 6 long counter. Then repeat the same process with the 6 long counter to the 10 long counter. Now take one final red wire and bring it from the 10 long counter down to the 1 second timer. After this, take a yellow wire and run it through the 12 counter like so. Now run it through the other two counters the same way and connect them all together. Finally, connect this yellow wire to the reset switch and your clock is done. The timer will start and stop the clock, and the switch will reset it back to 12. Now, moving on to the 
analog clock, we again want to start with the interface. However, this time we want to build a circle instead of a rectangle. Next, we want to place a bunch of torches for each hour interval like you see here. And finally, we want to place the wiring. For this, we want to alternate between red, blue, and green, leaving the last two torches disconnected. And then, once you've finished that, connect the yellow wire to those end torches that we left clear like so. Finally, we want to place some temporary switches and toggle all the torches off. Now that the interface is done, we want to build a 12 segment long counter. And if you didn't watch the digital clock tutorial, head to a minute 25 on this video to see how to build a counter, then come back here. Now, we want to go down 28 blocks from the end of the counter and place an OR gate with two lamps on top like so. Now, we want to repeat this another 11 times with two block gaps in between each. And then finally, we want to build another 12 segment counter on the end in line with the first. Now for the wiring, we want to connect red wires from the right counter down to the OR gates like so. But for the final wire, instead of connecting to the OR gate directly, we want to place a dart trap and connect the wire to that. Then place a teal pressure pad three blocks away from the dart trap before finally connecting that to the OR gate. And now for the left counter, we want to do the same thing again, but this time use yellow wire and we don't need a dart trap. Once this is done, take those same yellow wires and connect them to the interface. The leftmost wire should connect to the 12 hour hand, and then from there, moving right, connect the wires clockwise. Now we want to connect the other three wire colors from the interface to these OR gates that we placed. Again, from left to right, connect the wires clockwise. Now take a red wire and connect the end of the first counter to the input of the second counter. And finally, we want to place the on off timer and reset switch. Unlike the digital clock, use a five second timer here. After you're done with this, this, connect a red wire from the timer to the input of the first counter, and then take a yellow wire from the switch and connect it to each counter like so. And now your analog clock is done. If you guys would like to download the world that I used in this video, you could join my discord and navigate to the world downloads channel, where you'll find save files from a bunch of my different videos. There will be a link in the description of the video to join the server. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, consider subscribing to keep up to date with my uploads in the future. And with that out of the way, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.